welcome everybody to my studio here in California and I would like to introduce you to my newest painting which is called Evening Majesty. Now it's real exciting to me to think that over the years I have painted such a variety of subject. Each painting to me is symbolic of one aspect of God's creation whether it be a bustling cityscape with all the energy that suggests human activity or whether it's a quiet cottage in the midst of solitude in a, in a tranquil garden setting or whether, as in this painting, it's a majestic mountain landscape overflowing with God's abundance. You know, next year I will celebrate my 30th year as an oil painter and in all that time I have had one passion in my heart which is to find ways, techniques, for capturing with paint and canvas the effects of light and color that you see in nature. It's an amazing thing to stare out at God's abundance, the beauty of this world, and yet to try to capture that in a flat, two-dimensional piece of canvas is a difficult and challenging task. Yet it's an exciting one because each year I feel like I learn new things, make new discoveries of ways to capture that light, that color, on a canvas. This painting to me is a real landmark because in this work I use new techniques of glazing and of putting layer upon layer of color to suggest the luminous color of the sky and the wonderful warmth of light we see around the campfire. I feel like every painting is a new lesson, a new chance to learn, and this one was no exception. I feel that in my life as a painter I always want to strive to make each work a little better than the last. You know, there's nothing like being in the mountains to set your soul free. It's as though uh, you step out of the cares of this world and you feel at one with nature. I call this painting Evening Majesty because I wanted to celebrate that moment of the day when the day's work is done and the evening is beginning. Think of yourself nestled around the campfire. It's a warm summer's evening and you want to celebrate your fellowship with your friends that you're together with. Maybe you've been on a rigorous ride into the mountains on your horse, or perhaps you've been on the stream fishing with friends trying to get the day's catch that you'll cook up that evening. But the activities are now at a close and you can enjoy the radiance of a beautiful sunset as you linger around the campfire. I envision this painting as being perhaps an early autumn kind of setting. The first snow has dusted the peaks behind you, and yet you're on one of those warm Indian summer kind of evenings. But we see the campfire glowing, illuminating the little details that suggest a home in the woods. For example, a chair to sit on, a bench, even a puppy dog that is warming himself by the fire awaiting your return. Interestingly enough, this little puppy dog has a lot of meaning to me because this is our family pet the newest addition to the Kincaid family, little Toby, our yellow Labrador. This is one of the most detailed sunsets I think I've ever painted. And I loved putting the radiant sense of glow beneath the clouds as though the sun were an afterglow and the luminous color was coming up from below the horizon. I also enjoyed creating this stream with the rocks beside it. It meanders back into the distance and on the horizon we see a small waterfall. When I see those little details, it just makes me want to put on my hiking boots and begin to explore. Because every corner of this painting suggests to me a different trail I would like to take, a different path I would like to walk down. Being a horseman and an outdoorsman, I enjoy seeking out the quiet corners of nature, going places where perhaps few people have ever gone. This painting suggests to me an open doorway welcoming you to explore. As I look at this painting, I am struck by the sense of light dancing off the distant mountains. And yet we are sitting in the shadows of the valley, nestled in the warmth and security of our cabin. The cabin itself is constructed from river stone, uh, perhaps gathered right along the banks of this little meandering stream that the cabin sits next to. I had a great sense of imagining what would go on inside that cabin, the fellowship and friendship as people gather there for a getaway from the pressures of daily life. I even put a little well beside the cabin, suggesting the complete provision of God's creation. In other words, everything you need to live and prosper and enjoy life is right there waiting for you. 
This painting was fun to paint because of the trees as well as every other detail. I enjoy painting various trees. Of course, we have the blue spruce that you see as little accents throughout, the valley oaks that kind of suggest the radiance of fall as they turn color, and of course, all the other pines and birch trees and different types of foliage suggest the abundance in nature. There's a sense that everything grows together and kind of intertwines and intermingles. That is exciting for me as an artist because I put those flickering little details of color that suggest motion in the leaves of the trees as though the stillness of evening was coming. With the turning of the millennium, uh, I see this painting as almost a bridge between the millenniums. Uh, on the one hand, it represents perhaps the settlers who expanded uh, the beauty of the wilderness and brought civilization and settlement into all those uh, unexplored areas in the last century. And yet, the brave new world awaits us. We have the new millennium at our doorstep. And this painting and other works that I have created will be almost like a messenger going into the next millennium, reminding people of the simple values, the, the sense of beauty that is in this world. No matter what changes come with the new millennium, one thing for certain, people have a basic need for the simple joys, for the simple pleasures of nature and beauty. That's why I create these paintings, to remind people that no matter what happens in this world, God is still in his heaven and all is right with the world. Well, thank you for being with us, and I hope you enjoy Evening Majesty. As always, I would like to remind our collectors and friends that these paintings are just a way that I try to use whatever talents God may have given me to share His light, His love, and His hope with others. I hope that each of you will enjoy sharing the light. God bless you.